Guys, previous video was fun. We actually added tiny MCE to a Django block without having to do many things. And it was really fun to see this bold, italic, underline and all these options inside tiny MCE. But do you know that we can see more options and we can get more customization from tiny MCE by going to the documentation? Let's find out. I'll simply search for tiny MCE and I'll go to the documentation. I think here is the demo for tiny MCE and they actually tell you a lot of things about tiny MCE, how you can add these options. If you see, we don't get these options. So if you click at this preview, you're seeing the preview here, but for our case, we are not seeing any preview and we would definitely love to see this preview button inside the Django, uh, Django blog. Okay the admin part of Django blog. At the same time, it would be amazing to set the height of this box to something, uh, say 70% of the viewport height, or maybe even bigger than that, but definitely not this small, okay? So we'll see how we can customize all those things. And now, there are a lot of plugins and people will make a lot of plugins in the future. The main thing, the main skill that you can learn is to look into the documentation and find out how to customize your, say, uh, tiny MCE or whatever software you are using as per your needs. So what I'll do is I'll go and see what kind of customizations are uh, provided by tiny MCE. And it's showing me this JavaScript for this one. So what I have done is I have simply added JavaScript, which is a three line JavaScript. I have just told that the selector is ID underscore content and I want to select this. But if you look into this one, they are saying that we are using this, we are using this, we are using this, a lot of options. So let's see if we can grab all these options. Let me copy this code and let me paste it as it is. So I'll get rid of my tiny MCE dot in it and I'll use theirs. But at the same time, I'll ensure that the selector I'm using is correct. So I'll paste it here and let me see if it changes anything for me or it produces an error. We'll have to ensure that it doesn't produce an error. So I'll simply get rid of this one, but this has definitely spoiled things for us. So there are two errors. It's saying that we cannot uh, reference this thing. We cannot, so, so there are some problems. Let's see what those problems are. So they are saying mention selector, mentions fetch. So let me remove all these things. So they are saying that tiny drive token provider. I don't want to use tiny drive. Let me get rid of this one. I just want to use these plugins. I do not want to use the menu bar, toolbar. Okay, let me keep this. At the same time, I'll remove all these things. I don't even know what these things are. I just copied all the things from tiny MCE website. So I'll remove this one and let me see if it works. I just want to get it to work. I don't want to dive deeper into tiny MCE documentation. And once again, we see all these plugin um, messages that you don't have these plugins by an API key. And this is really annoying. Who will see all these things? But, but I think this, this is really great and this is amazing. And you might as well go to the website, sign up for a free API key. And I think if you get this API key, you will you will see all these options. and. These are a lot of options. I don't even know what these options are. We can start exploring one by one. Let me select this text. And this is the indentation, nice. What is this? Let me select some text and add this one, okay. So this is unordered list, ordered list, and this is an ordered list. Okay, looks good. Okay, looks good. If I press enter, another thing, another thing. Wow, this is amazing, this is really amazing. Okay, so we can choose some colors as well. Let me see if I can change the color. Nice. And they have a color picker as well. So you can choose any color of your choice. This is really amazing. And what is this? Page break. Okay, so you can give a page break as well. What is this? Oh, this is a set of special symbols. So you get a lot of things. I'm really impressed with Tiny MCE. Wow, they have emojis as well. I use them a lot. I use them a lot while talking to friends or whenever I want to express something while I'm writing a blog, they come really very handy. So I'm really impressed with what Tiny MCE has done. And I can go to full screen as well. This is really amazing. I cannot appreciate it much. Preview, wow, this is good. I think we have landed 
our blog to the right place and we can start writing amazing blog posts now starting my story once upon a time a uh, new list with dates new table so these are some templates that they have created i think you can also create some templates uh what is this insert link so if i want to link this to some uh okay so this 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 is insert template this is the link so i can say google.com and this is the link this this goes to google.com you can change the link as well you can ask it to open in a new tab or window wow this is amazing and what is this right to left okay or you want to go left to right insert edit code sample okay so you can add code as well this, this this is something that i want this is something that i want because i write a lot of code and i really like inserting code and this will really come handy for me whenever i'm writing programming articles let me grab some python code from somewhere let me go to django documentation let me go to this thing and let me see if i can find out some python code from somewhere okay so i can copy this python code uh models.py let's let's copy this and let's see how this looks here so i'll simply copy this save wow i'm really impressed by the way and this is amazing i should say and let me save this and see how my blog looks so i've saved this i'll reload this page another one and this is how it looks and yes you can customize your code by writing javascript and all those kind of stuff uh we'll see all these things in a future video sometime but this stuff is impressive and we can start writing amazing posts from now okay so one thing that we create problems for you is whenever you open something this tiny mce will start loading and you will see a whole bunch of these domain is not registered plugin is not enabled all these things okay so let me see if i can remove some plugins that i'm not using that i don't want uh what is this link list image list i don't even know what these things are let me start removing them one by one and probably i'll play around with this thing and i'll definitely learn what these things are but i think for now this is amazing and i really appreciate it a lot so if i remove all these things let me see what all options do i see mm, i think i have made some mistake in the code i should make sure that this remains valid from code perspective so i can remove these templates i don't want these templates import css append i don't know what it is i'll remove all these things i'll remove this as well i'll remove this as well and let me keep these things only so let me save reload and the number of warnings that i'm seeing should reduce but looks like they haven't so i think we need to go and we need to start creating the free api keys uh, whenever possible but for now what i'll do is i'll remove all the plugins that i don't need i'll i i'll start uh, removing these menus as well title tiny comments add comments show comment delete all conversations what is that okay so there there are some menus that can be created here they have a lot of stuff i think this is really very impressive so we can in the future play around with this and definitely will learn how to use this for now this has some steep learning curve Uh, you will have to write at least five to ten articles in order to find out how to optimally write your articles using this. But this is going to be fun, and also we'll have to go through the documentation and spend some time in order to find out what all options we should be using and what all options are free and we should be enabling in order to see no warnings or whatsoever. So I'll leave that on you. For now, what I'll do is I will simply. reduce the number of options in the toolbar and i'll also remove this menu I, i don't even know what these are doing here i have used tiny mce in the past i have been using it for some time but i think i don't enable a lot of options and i don't even enable all these plugins uh plugins i'll remove this plugin and i'll also remove all these plugins i don't want to use all these plugins so i'll simply remove all the plugins and let me see how it looks and i think this is good to start with so all these are premium plugins actually i'll remove all the plugins i don't want any plugin so let me get rid of all these plugins and i think if i get rid of all the plugins 
this looks good to me okay so we can start with this and if we like maybe in the future if we want we can sign up for a free api key and even if we have to pay and if we start earning say three thousand dollars a month which is a lot of money if at all we are earning this amount of money in the future probably we can start giving some money to tiny mce as well i don't even know what the price of tiny mce is is there any um, is there any option to see where the pricing and all those things are listed? I don't know. I can't find the pricing page. Where is the pricing page? Is it paid? It, it definitely is paid, but I'm not sure where pricing page is. Anyways, okay, so here is the pricing. Let us quickly look at the pricing. So they are charging $25 a month, which is a lot of money. Community is free forever. So you can use open source editor, you know, and love free forever and ready for commercial use. So you can use this editor, which is a good thing but i think the cloud plans are paid so we can use this um, open source editor uh, as and when required but their plugins are paid for sure so i think that is fine and uh, we'll wrap this tiny mce but what i wanted to address through this video was i wanted to remove this paragraph tag the br tag because it doesn't look good uh, there are two ways to remove this First way is to have a short description column here. So if I add a short description column here, I'll see that short description here. But again, you don't want to uh, write this short description again and again. You would want this short description to be generated automatically. Okay. So in order to do that, what you can do is you can start looking into this, uh, whatever the HTML is being fetched from the database and you can analyze that HTML using JavaScript and generate the text automatically. Now, since this is not a JavaScript tutorial, I'll not do that because this will uh, confuse you a lot if I start writing JavaScript. So what I'll do is I'll add a short description field there. So let us come back to models.py and inside the blog, what I'll do is I'll say short underscore DESC and I'll say models.car field and I'll say max length is equal to how many characters should we add 300 I don't remember how many characters we added inside the block home template so I think I have added around 200 or something and I don't remember 245 so let me make it 250 okay so I'll say okay max length is 250 or maybe 300 and whenever I cross more than say 245 and that will automatically get truncated. So that is totally fine with me. I'll save this. I'll stop the server. I'll say python manage.py make migrations. So this will make migrations. I'll say, uh, it's saying that there's no default for this thing. So what I'll do is I'll quit and add a default as well because it doesn't have a default. So I'll say default is equal to none. So it has added this short DESC to blog. Now I'll restart my server once again and I'll go back to my models. And it is saying that no such column blog dot short DESC. So I think there is some problems. Okay, so the problem is I just ran make migrations. I should migrate as well because make migrations will just create the files for migration. And migrate is the command which will actually do the magic of writing into the database. So now the database has been changed and we'll get rid of this error, hopefully. So let me reload this page. Oh yes, we have removed the error. Now what I'll do is I'll copy this and I'll add it to the short description and save. Now if I reload this, still I'm seeing this thing because I am not pointing to the short underscore DESC in my blog home template. So I should say that I don't want blog dot content I want blog dot short DESC and I want to slice it to 245 characters reload and this is what we see but once again we'll have to add short description to all the articles so I think it sounds like a good plan to add short description to all the articles control C control V and save once again, I'll do the same with this article as well. Now you might want to go to tiny MCE and sign up for a free key. The key is free. I'm not doing it to save some time. 
you can sign up with them and once you get the tiny mce key you can simply insert the key by looking into the documentation and if you do not want to do that that's totally fine i have ran a website without having to add the api key for like nine months i was too lazy i'm sorry but i think you should definitely add the uh, tiny mce key it's worth it believe me learn javascript i'll add the short description to this one as well copy paste save let me reload this yes this looks good this this really looks good now the blog is looking so clean and we have this rich text editor as well I think this is a time you can take this blog to production but again we have to fix some more things for example we have not added height to this one and once again we have not yet added uh, static images to our to our home page because if you don't use static images your website is going to be slow because unsplash api is not going to give you images with that amount of speed which you can achieve using your own website using your own server so we'll come back and we'll make all these changes the home page looks good to me i think i think this looks good no problems whatsoever in my home page no problems whatsoever in the blog page except i need to add some height i need to add a form inside contact as well so we'll make sure that we have a contact page as well and once again we should have an about page as well which will tell about how mountain coders started and what kind of service mountain coders is is it a is it a course website is it a website which will feature a lot of programming articles we will we'll make sure we add that as well because people who are visiting the blog who are reading the articles they'll definitely want to know what you are about and what your website is about so they might come to the about page so it's a good idea to design an about page but i'll save time here because this is not a bootstrap tutorial i'll make a bootstrap tutorial if you post a comment please give us bootstrap tutorials if, if 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 i get say 100 comments i'll definitely make a bootstrap tutorial let's close the deal here 100 comments and you'll get a bootstrap tutorials on programming with harry so let me see if i get 100 comments on bootstrap tutorials and i'll i'll show you how bootstrap 5 works in fact bootstrap 5 has come bootstrap 5 it has arrived uh let me open the documentation of bootstrap 5 alpha release and believe me, Bootstrap 5 is amazing. I had a look at Bootstrap 5 and I tried it out. I don't know where the link to Bootstrap 5 is. Okay, so it's here. v5.getbootstrap.com and, and I liked it. They removed jQuery and they, they are now uh, using vanilla JavaScript. This is amazing. So you might want to have a look at Bootstrap 5, but again, we'll leave that to some other video. I hope you're liking these Django videos. If you want me to uh, continue this Django series, I want you to uh, share this playlist, please, because I need a lot of support on this channel. I hope you guys will share this playlist with your friends. And also, if you haven't liked these videos, I want you guys to like each and every video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. And I will see you next time.